We've got a Gen 2 Prius. You're driving down the road. The headlights go off. The dash lights go off. The center console lights go off. You lose power steering. Uh, I don't know if you lose brakes or not, but you're wondering what's going on. Simple fix. Your inverter pump probably went bad. Now, so when you open the door, you're not going to get anything, any lights are coming on on the dash. Some people will tell you that your dash lights have gone out and you need to replace the capacitor. Well, that could be true in some cases, but if your headlights went off, then you have an AM2 fuse up here under the hood. And that fuse, it's this fuse right here. It's the AM2 fuse. And it is con it controls the inverter pump and all that other stuff we just talked about. So it's that AM2 fuse right there. Now your inverter pump is right here. So it looks pretty simple to get to, famous last words. Change this fuse. Then you're going to get in it and you're going to restart it. And if this fuse blows again, you can unplug the wire that's, it's a white wire with a black chaser. It's that one right there. You can unplug this wire. This is what feeds the power to your inverter pump. If you unplug that wire, you should be able to drive it a short distance. Do not drive it forever because your triangle of death will be on. You won't be cooling your inverter. Now. Let me show you something also that's important so that you know for sure if your inverter pump is working. We're in ready mode. It won't do that when that fuse blows because your center, your center console light won't even come on. You're... Now, you're going to unscrew this and you're going to look for a movement inside of your inverter reservoir. See how the water is just tooling around in there? That's a good sign. That means your inverter pump is working. This one is not the one that had the problem. The one that had the problem is in Tennessee. I can't get to it. You should be able to feel this and it should be humming. It should be just vibrating. If that's vibrating, then your inverter pump is good. But this can still blow. It did on my daughter's car again. We replaced it and she's running again guys have a blessed day i hope you uh find yourself a prius that has this problem it's real cheap and you get a really nice prius